Good morning, friends. Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful break. So I just want to let you know that this morning's Zoom meeting will not be taking place. I need to get into Glen Meadow and work on packing up the classroom. So I will be in the school today. However, I have made this video for you in hopes that you will um, spend some time thinking about new innovative technology. Thinking about new and innovative technology, you've probably been reading the screen and noticing that this week history will be made. I'm very excited about what's taking place tomorrow. It's a partnership between NASA and SpaceX. There's going to be a launch tomorrow, not just a launch of a rocket, but a launch of a U.S. made rocket that will launch humans, astronauts, into space. Now I know that might not sound as exciting as I understand it, but United States has not been sending our own astronauts to space since 2011. So what is taking place tomorrow is the United States reestablishing ourselves as a partner that launches astronauts into space to get to the International Space Station and eventually thinking about places like Mars. Now, I have some posted links here that I will post in the comment sharing today. Um, if you want to learn more about SpaceX, you can search it yourself. You could go through NASA. This is an article that I was reading about how um, you can find some links to learn about SpaceX and Elon Musk. You can also, also find a link to register for the event to watch it live. Most coverage tomorrow will begin around 2 p.m. You're going to probably see inside of mich uh, Mission Control, and you're going to be hearing from specialists. The launch should take place around 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. So if you'd like to schedule that in, you can just mark it on your calendar, and you could be watching on Discovery Channel. National Geographic should probably be holding it. Um, maybe some live YouTube um, posts. So here below is the official live stream website link. It's going to be on through NASA. Um, NASA.gov slash NASA live. So you can um, check that out even today and see the scheduled events that will be taking place. The, uh, the, the stream will open around noon tomorrow but most of the conversation and coverage will take place around 2 p.m. If you want to find other venues, there's many other um, places that will be um, sharing news coverage. However, there will be additional things happening through the week, like the docking of the actual crew at the International Space Station, which would take place on Thursday, so I'll keep you tuned. Now. This was uh, an exciting piece of the day, but there is work that we need to get done, and here it is. For the work today, what you are doing is you're thinking about an innovative piece of technology to design. So it could be anything you want to. Uh, the rest of the video will give you some ideas from a cartoon show from my childhood. You might want to make a robot or a humanoid, and it could be um, something that helps in the house. It could be something that helps somewhere else, um, maybe in a factory type usage. You could design a drone or a jetpack, any household appliance, or any new type of technology. It's your own innovative technology idea. You're going to post what type of technology you're thinking about designing. So for instance, my example is, I'm going to design a hair styling drone. You can think out of the box. It can be an innovative cartoon technology idea, or it could be a real innovative tech idea. Whatever you're thinking, just share what your thought is for the day, and we will do further designs as the rest of the week uh, continues. So. Please enjoy the video um, that will follow. You will be watching the cartoon or learning about the cartoon, The Jetsons. And I want you to be thinking about some type of new innovative piece of technology to design. 
You do not need to design it. Just post what you're thinking of designing in the post for the day. Thanks, friends. Have a nice day. Flexverse presents seven technologies from the Jetsons that actually exist today. Number one, video phones. Of the seven technologies from the Jetsons that actually do exist today, this is the most popular. If you ever watched the Jetsons, you'd know that they didn't have traditional telephones. When someone would make a call, the person's image would appear on the screen as if they were talking in person. Back then, people thought it would be a great idea, except when Jane Jetson answered the phone. She would worry about her hair and the person on the other end seeing it. Luckily, she had a hairstyling device to do her hair in seconds. And back then, we had no idea that one day we would really be using apps like Skype and FaceTime to talk to each other face-to-face -face using a computer or a phone. There are even some people who never use the traditional phone anymore, and every call they make is through FaceTime. Number two, robotic assistants. Rosie the Maid was one of the most popular characters on the Jetsons. She was a walking and talking robot who took care of all of the housework. She made lunches for the kids, and she answered the door in the telephone. She even pitched in to help care for Astro the dog. Unfortunately, we don't quite have Rosie's level of technology yet, but we do have the Roomba. It's a robot vacuum cleaner that moves around your house on its own. It's also smart. It knows not to try to go vacuuming on its own at a certain time of the day. When it's finished cleaning the home, it'll return to its charging dock. There's even a version of the Roomba that will cut your grass. Thanks to this invention, homeowners don't need to spend their Saturday afternoons cutting the grass or vacuuming. They can let the robot do it for them. Hopefully someday we will have a Rosie available to us. Wouldn't that be great? It'll give us much more free time than we have today. Number three, drones. When the Jetsons kids, Judy and Elroy, went to school, a flying personal pod would come and pick them up. Today, we have drones. Drones can be used for plenty of things. People use drones to take photos from high above. We also use them to deliver stuff. Drones are often used in television and film, and recently we've been using drones to deliver packages. Well, so far, we don't have drones to carry people around, but you know it's coming. Considering how fast technology is growing, it's just a matter of time. In just a few short years, we could be watching drones pick up our kids for school. Number four, 3D printed food. When Jane Jetson wanted to make dinner for her family, she'd press a button and the food would pop right out. In the Jetsons' times, anybody could be a good cook. As long as you could push a few buttons, you could feed your family a four-course gourmet meal. In 2017, 3D printers started being used more than ever. These printers are used to make dental braces, cars, and even human body parts. They're also used to make food. There are 3D printers on the market that'll let you print your food on demand. Whether you want a piece of chocolate, a spoonful of Nutella, or a bowl of cookie dough ice cream, you can get it with just the push of a button. Finally, we can all cook just like Jane Jetson. Number five, smart watches. The adults on the Jetsons wore watches that incorporated video. They can talk to someone on their watch and do a variety of other things right from their wrists. Today, thanks to the Apple Watch and the Fitbit, we can make calls, receive texts, use maps and track our sleep and fitness using a simple piece of jewelry that we wear on our wrists. Back when people were watching new episodes of the Jetsons, they never expected to have devices like these. We didn't even have watches with alarms on them back then. Technology really has come very far. Number six, treadmills for dogs. You just knew we were gonna bring this one up, didn't you? When the Jetsons wanted to take their dog Astro for a walk, they didn't need to put on their walking shoes. They'd simply put him on the deck attached to their house in the sky and press a button. Astro would spend his time walking on a treadmill, and he didn't need to bother George or Jane to take him out for a walk. Well, today, they do make treadmills for dogs, just like the ones they make for us humans. We never expected this type of luxury would actually be a real thing when we first saw Astro walking on his. Number seven, jetpacks. People didn't walk around on the Jetsons because everything was so high up off the ground. Some people used cars that folded up so small they could fit into their pockets. Others used jetpacks to travel around. Today, there are startup companies such as Aquaflyer, Jetpack International, and Martin Jetpack 
who are working to make traveling by jetpack a true reality. This will change the way that people travel from place to place. So far, they've made it possible to fly over large bodies of water using the special device. Subscribe for more! In 1962, the world was introduced to The Jetsons, a retro-futuristic cartoon featuring flying cars, talking robots, and jetpacks. The series was set in 2062, and even watching it now, it still seems like a glimpse into the far future. But wait a second. Let's take a closer look. We already have a lot of these things. Well, it's really none of my... TV, TV, uh, now, ABC is considering bringing the series back which had us thinking, how close are we to living like the Jetsons? Let's grab a progress report. The Jetsons was an American animated sitcom produced by Hanna-Barbera, the same company behind the Flintstones. It originally aired in primetime in 1962, but only lasted 24 episodes. Flash forward to the 80s and the Jetsons came back with two more seasons of whimsical inventions and a completely tech-enabled lifestyle. Although it was short-lived, the series did have a lasting impression on society. In 1990, a feature film was released and grossed $11 million in the box office. And in August 2017, ABC announced they were looking into a potential reboot, and this time, the show would be in live action. But what will this one look like? What is our version of the future? Because despite being 44 years away from 2062, we already have a surprising amount of the technology predicted by the Jetsons. If you want to see where we are closest, look no further than the daily routine. The girls need me for their protest meeting at the United Planet building. Look familiar? Not too long ago did video calling look like something in the far future. <laughs> and we may have already surpassed their expectations. While George Jetson was limited to where Mr. Spacey could reach him, we can FaceTime, Skype, or Google Voice with anyone, anywhere. And in 2014, Apple came out with their smartwatch, and it doesn't even need an antenna. The Jetsons also predicted smart shoes, automated dressing rooms, robotic vacuums, and dog treadmills. We have versions of all of these today. Yes, even the dog treadmill. One thing the Jetsons definitely got right is how easy it is to run a home with little to no effort. Thanks to the Internet of Things, we're able to automate so many aspects of our home life. Devices like Amazon Alexa, Google Home, Microsoft Cortana, and now Apple's HomePod let you turn off the lights, play music, get the news, change the temperature, lock the house, start your laundry, order groceries, and even more. So what in our daily routine is still yet to come? We have robots, but they aren't quite lazy. Breakfast isn't quite like this. And our beds don't do whatever this is. When it comes to life outside the home, we do have a ways to go, but a lot of these inventions are already in the works. Flying cars have forever been a symbol of the future, and although we don't have them quite yet, we have good reason to believe we will soon. This is Uber Elevate, Uber's flying car division. Yes, you heard me right, and they could be flying around LA by 2020. Their flying taxi service will use vertical takeoff to pick you up fly you over the 405 and drop you at your destination. And the craziest part is, a flying Uber should only cost as much as an Uber X. Smaller companies have their own version, but they require a runway to take off and land. And they definitely can't fold into your suitcase. What about personal flights? Although Elroy flying around Orbit City still looks surreal today, would you be surprised to know that Jetpack existed before the Jetsons was even a thought? This is Bell Aerosystems' version of a Jetpack. It could only propel you for 21 seconds, but that counts for something, right? Perhaps the closest we've gotten is Jetpack Aviation's version. It can reach a thousand feet in the air and carry you for five to 10 minutes. The biggest problem is efficiency. 
because of high fuel consumption and noise levels. Until we find a better fuel source, jetpacks remain circling above Orbit City alone. Welcome to Orbit City. You'll see Spacely Space Sprockets, Orbit City High School, the Little Dipper Elementary School, and the Skypad Apartments, home of the Jetson family. The architecture was influenced by the modern Zuzu style, like the LAX Steam Building and the Seattle Space Needle. But there's one big difference. Every building is raised on adjustable stilts above the clouds. No specific reason was mentioned, but it's safe to assume it's to be above the smog, pollution, and weather of the Earth below. There's never a cloudy day in Orbit City. Rewind back to 2018. Our buildings are getting taller every year. The current tallest building, the Burj Khalifa of Dubai, is about to be surpassed by the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. When finished, the Jeddah Tower will reach 3,300 feet. Although our buildings are still rooted to the ground, we're getting closer and closer to cities in the clouds. So it's not quite 2062, but we are surprisingly close to living like the Jetsons. Let us know in the comments below and please like and subscribe. So friends, what you're doing today is just thinking about what new innovative piece of technology you would design. You do not need to share a design until sometime tomorrow, but you could use the ideas that I shared with you through the Jetsons cartoon show or just come up with your own. I am uh, sharing an ide a design idea about the um, hairstyling drone. That's an innovative cartoony type idea. Um, you might want to make some type of apparatus that can make a sandwich for you with many different arms that pop out. Um, otherwise, you might want to have innovative tech ideas, like maybe you want to truly design a personal flying drone. Whatever it is that you're thinking of, share what your idea is today in your post. We will be sharing designs tomorrow. Um, as well as um, setting aside some time to watch the SpaceX launch if you're interested. Thank you, friends. Have a great day. Check out the information on Schoology and make sure you're posting each day. We do not have very many to do, and so I want you to have fun in these simple tasks and activities that we are working on this week and next. Have a great day, guys.